The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number 12, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 1st of April, 1974, in Bombay, India. <laughs> Jajantya kya devata khipram hi manse loke siddhi bhavati karmaya. So, last night we are discussing Jita Thavam Prabhadanti Tang Sutiva Vajam Maham. Mama Vartmana Vartanti Manusya Pata Sarva. Everyone is seeking the absolute truth in different way. So the worship of the demigods, that is also in one way searching after the absolute truth, the Supreme Personality of God. Therefore in the Vedas, the demigod worship is also recommended. Pasana Kanda. The Vedas are divided into three kandas or divisions. Karma kanda, Gana kanda, Upasana kanda. Therefore the other name of Veda is Trai. Trai na Suti Gochara. The Sri Shuddha Vijavan Mura Trai na Suti Gochara. That is stated in the Vedic letters. Sri Shuddha and Vijabandhu. Vijabandhu means born in Brahmin Chhatriya Vaishya family, especially Brahmin family. But he is not possessing the qualities of Brahman or Chhatriya. As now it is going on, everyone is presenting himself as a Brahman Chhatriya Vaishya but he hasn't got the necessary qualification. The Brahmana's qualification is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Sattam, Saucham, Samo, Dhamo, Titikha, Ajava, Jnanam, Vijnanam, Asvikam, Brahma, Karna, Svava. Similarly, Chatriya, Saudha, Vijja, Vijja, Yuddheta, Prayanam, Isra, Bhavancha, in this way. There are Kshatriya's qualification. Similarly, Krishi, Guru, Kshapanijam, Vaishya, Karma, Sabhavad. The Vaishya are described to be engaged in agricultural work, giving protection to the cows and excess grains to trade. Where there is necessity to carry there and take something in exchange. Similarly, Shudra, Purichadja, Atmakam, Kajam, Shudra, Karma, Sabhal. Shudra means he is satisfied by serving somebody. Just like a dog, he is satisfied having a nice master. That's all. Sometimes it is compared. The Shudras like the dog. So, Pankhantam Karmanasiddhi. This Dhunapama Vibhagasa, Brahman Shatri Vaishya. That will be explained in the next verse. So, Karma, to get success in one's particular type of occupational duties, sometimes they worship the demigods. That is described here. Demigods, they are also living entities. And all living entities are part and parcel of Krishna, Mugayimam, Sujiva, Bhuta, Jiva, Lupi, Sanat. So demigods, they are also part and parcel. We are also part and parcel. There is no divine. But they are more fortunate to get the post of Chandra, Surya, Indra, Brahma. Brahma is also living in it. Therefore, 
to get success in our material welfare activities, sometimes, not sometimes, always, we worship demigods. So that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. The demigod worship is also my worship. But that is abhidhi purvakam. That is not the vidhi. Vidhi is to worship the Supreme Personality of God. But just, sometimes just like we give some reward to the doorman to enter into the room of a great officer. Similarly, Devi God worship means to get the result very quickly. And we may ask any type of benefits and reward from the Devi God. Lord Bhavati Alvumayrasa, that will be explained in the seventh chapter. Devi God worship may be bringing quickly the result of action, desire, desire. But antavattu phalam tesham, the result is antavattu. It is limited. But bhakti is not limited. Bhakti is unlimited. Sarpam api yasya dharvasya trayati mahato vaya. But people, tad bhavati alpa medasam, those who are less intelligent, instead of worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they worship the demigods. Kāṅkhanta karmanāṁ siddhi jajanta yadevata. Therefore, people are more interested in worshipping demigods than Krishna. The demigods in India especially we will find there are many devotees of the demigods. Not devotees. Devotion is only applied in connection with the Supreme Personality of God. The demigod was say they are not devotees, but they are interested to get the reward from the demigod. Otherwise they are not interested. But bhakti is not like that. The bhakta they are not after any reward from the Supreme Personality of God. That is the difference between bhakti and other demigod worship. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is teaching us bhakti. He says, na dhanam na dhanam na sundarim kavitam ba jagadi satam. My Lord, I do not wish to ask from you opulence, riches, nice wife or many followers. These are material opulences. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, I do not want all this thing. Na dhanam na janam na sundarim kavitam ma jagadi satam. Mava janvani janvani ishare bhavata bhakti rahaitu. That is the desire of devotee. He doesn't want even liberation. Janmani, Janmani. He wants to serve the lotus feet of the Lord. Bhārta Prabhā. That is his aspiration. So, kipram hi manuse loke siddhi bhavati karma. The karmakandiya, those who are on the platform of creative activities, generally they are attracted by the demigod worship. But Vitorāga Bhaya Soka, those who are detached from material happiness, they become attached to Krishna. Manvana Mahamupāsita, that is already explained. Now we have to make our choice whether for temporary benefit we shall worship demigods or for permanent benefit we shall worship Krishna. That is our choice. But people generally make their choice. Kipram he manusi bhavati. Immediate result. Immediate result. 
that will be explained. That immediate result, it may be very palatable in the beginning, but it is. It will produce bitter result at the end. But that we do not consider. We want immediate. The immediate result and remote result is described in Sanskrit words, śreya and preya. Preya means immediate benefit and śreya means ultimate benefit. So those who are interested in the ultimate benefit go back to home, back to Godhead. For them, worshipping the Supreme Lord is most beneficial. And those who are interested in the matter of temporary benefit, dhanang dehi, rupang dehi, jaso dehi, that's like by worshipping Goddess Durga, we want all these things. But we forget that whatever we get material benefit, with the end of this material body, everything is lost. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita that at the end, I as death, I take away all your material position. Sarva haram mrittu. So that is not good. We, because we are eternal, nitra nityanam chetana sritanana, we should be after eternal happiness, eternal benefit. That should be our business. Therefore, we should not be karmaja, not karmi. Neither we should become gyani. We should become yogi. And what kind of yogi? Bhakta yogi. Because there are different types of yoga practices. Out of that, bhakti yoga is the topmost. Because Krishna says, Without me, in the bhakti yoga, neither you can be happy, nor you can understand what is Krishna and what is your relationship with Krishna. Evam prasannam munasa bhagavad bhakti yoga If you want to be happy, then bhagavad bhakti yoga it can be possible. Nittana Bhagavata Sevaya. That is stated. Nasta Prayasu Avadreshu. Nittana Bhagavata Sevaya. This class is held for the benefit of the human society. And this is the process of Nittana Bhagavata Sevaya. Sinnatam Satatha Krishna Punna Sapana Kita. If we regularly hear about Krishna, why regular, constant? If we practice in such a way that we shall hear about Krishna, talk about Krishna, chant about Krishna, eat about Krishna, work about Krishna, sleep about Krishna, walk about Krishna, that is Krishna consciousness movement. Jinnatāna samatā Krishna pūrna sabana kītā. Anything we do in relationship with Krishna is pious. Punna Savana Kita. Nidbande Krishna Sambandha Jitta Vairaga Muchati. This is the instruction of Srila Rupa Vishan. Don't tell everything with Krishna activities, Krishna consciousness. That is the recommendation. Then our life will be successful. And Krishna is sitting within your heart. When he sees you, that you are very serious about Krishna, then he helps you. Sinnatam sapata Krishna punna savana kītam riddham tasya avadrāṇī vidhunati sa Krishna avadrāṇī vidhunati we have got many dirty things within our heart. But as soon as we begin to 
hear about Krishna. That time we are hearing about Krishna. Krishna is speaking about himself. Krishna is speaking about the situation of this material world. He will speak about the spiritual world, everything is there in the Bhagavad Gita. So, if you regularly hear, that is the beginning of success of life, hearing. The Vedas are called hearing, Sruti. One has to hear Vedas from the right person. That is the recommendation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sthāne sthita sruti vatāṁ tanubhāṁ mano bhi. To achieve success in self-realization or God-realization. Sri Chaitanya Mahāpū recommends sthāne sthita. You just remain in your present position. You remain as a grihastha or as a brāhmin or as a sannyāsī, as a businessman professional man, it doesn't matter. Sthāne sthita. You remain as a brahmin, kshatriya, vaiśya, sudra, it doesn't matter. But śruti gata antanu vāgamanovi. Just try to hear about Krishna, śruti gata. Oral reception. Śruti gata means oral reception. Tanu vāgamanovi. And try to employ your body, words, tanu and mano, mind, engage in Krishna's service. tanu vāṁ mano sthāne sthita sutikatāṁ tanu vāṁ je prāyasa ajito pi jita pasi Krishna's another name is ajita. He is never conquered. But any person who hears about Krishna Gyanipraasam mudapasa namantaeva sanam kuritana bhavudiyo vata. Simply mental speculation, giving up this bad habit. Gyanipraasam mudapasa. Living aside, namantaeva. Very humbly and meekly. If one hears from the realized soul about Krishna, then in any position, dhanestita. Because he is hearing from the realized soul, then one day it will be possible to conquer the unconquerable. Prayasa ajito bi jito pasi ito is tilakyam. So this Krishna consciousness movement is to give chance to everyone to hear about Krishna. This is the first process. Sravanam. And one, when one has heard very nicely about Krishna, then he can speak about Krishna. And he must speak. He cannot remain without speaking. That is the result of Sravanam. Sravanam Kirtanam. One who has heard nicely, he must speak or preach. And preaching and hearing about whom? Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu. Vishnu and Krishna the same thing. Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Bandhanam, Dasham, Satham, Atmanigedanam. Nine different process of Krishna consciousness movement is being pushed on by the members of Krishna consciousness society all over the world, and we have opened also here in Bombay, the most important city of India. So we request you all to come every day and try to understand this philosophy of Krishna consciousness based on Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Vedanta Sutra, Ramayana, Mahabharata, or authentic scriptures, there is no concoction, there is no manufacturing, malinterpretation. We are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is, without any deviation. So if you take advantage 
of this process of understanding, chinnatāṁ sakatā kṛṣṇa punna sivana kītana, then gradually we shall be bereft of all sinful activities, resultant action of sinful activities. Riddhanta sahavadrāni. Avadrāni means inauspicious things accumulated within our heart by this Krishna kītan as recommended by Sri Chaitanya Mahāprabhu, Sita Dhatpana Mahājana. The heart is clean. It is just like mirror. Sita Dhatpana Mahājana. So as soon as our heart is clean, then we can understand immediately what is Krishna, what I am, what is my relationship with Krishna, and how I should act in relation to Krishna. This is perfection of life. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.